All right, this is geekyanimator.com, and in this video tutorial, we're going to learn about the uh, image tracing functionality of Anime Studio Pro. So, um, as the name says, image tracing, you're going to trace an image with a guide, guiding image, and just let me show you what I mean. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the file menu, and under the import option, I'm going to go and select the tracing image over here. See that? So, I'm going to click on it, and this opens up the file browser which you can you know select an image that you want to trace so I'm gonna go to desktop and I'm gonna go in this folder and I'm gonna select this photo 0277 whatever it is so I click open and here we are this is a photograph of two of my knucklehead friends and oh my god I just call them knucklehead they're gonna beat the hell out of me anyways so um, so this is an uh, tracing image I mean this is the guide and you can see in the layers panel there is no layer, uh, no layer uh, uh, made for that particular the background that you can see. If I you know if I remove the visibility of this layer simply clicking on these two eyeballs, you can see that this uh, image is not actually a part of this layer. So uh, this is a guidance. You can see that it has uh, its opacity has been turned down a bit so that you can uh, see through it. So now we can grab our add point tool and we can trace our image, you know. We can add some points and just keep on adding our points to trace our image. And you can, you know, uh, use the zoom tool to uh, click and drag a mouse button to zoom in towards the right hand side. And you can, if you if you click and drag to the left hand side, you, are zoom, you can zoom out, all right. So you can zoom in and select the add point tool again and just add some more points you can trace the whole image that you want and one more thing that I want to show you is um, suppose uh, what I do um, suppose if I you know complete this image right now over here only so I'm gonna connect these two points I'm gonna press space now they're connected and I'm gonna select the create shape tool and I'm gonna click on any of the edge to select the this set of points and I'm gonna press space to fill them so click outside so here you are the shape is filled as you can see that the shape is um, you can see through it I mean its opacity is to, has turned down so that you can you know actually get a guide I mean what you are drawing so this is good for guiding purpose so if you but if you press ctrl plus r to render it you can see that um, that image has gone which was at the background well this is what we wanted right we don't want that image to come in front of us we just wanted the shape that we draw so you get the shape that you draw so I'm gonna close the render window and this is it you can add more layers if you want for one person one layer for one person another for the other one you can add effects shape effects drop shadow whatever you can you can make you make your own drawing i mean custom drawing whatever you want so this is what uh, this is what the tracing image feature is and if you later on want to change the tracing image i'm going to zoom out i'm going to select the zoom uh, tool and i'm going to zoom out if you want later on want to change the tracing image you can even do that you can go to the file menu again, go to import and you can select again the tracing image and if you want to select a different one you can even do that I mean suppose if I select this BSCN2042 whatever it is I'm going to click open so here we are the image has been changed and if I just remove this <laughs> so the V2 friends are there last day of the second year for, of our engineering I'm feeling shameful <laughs> whatever so um, this is what the tracing image is for you can trace image when uh, using this uh, guiding tool and you can actually you know um, uh, trace an image of your friend or whomever or your girlfriend or your boyfriend and you can trace their image make their cartoon image and uh, give them as a gift on a birthday or something like that well i used to do that you know it's a uh, one uh, the benefit that i get by doing this is that you don't have to spend your money outside and buying something you know some bucks spend out uh, just for buying a gift for a friend well you can simply open up the anime studio pro and draw an image make a cartoon of your friend of their image and uh, of the photo and well give them give them a print out or even you can even give them this uh, electronic copy send them to their mail or post it on their facebook wall that will you know is quite a cost effective method <laughs> so um, this is it so uh, welcome to think of it I can make a tutorial on it on you know how to trace an image make a cartoon of your character basically 
of uh, using a photograph as a guide and I'll make a tutorial on that also you can check that, check that out at geekyanimator.com and so this was all about the image tracing tool and you can trace your image at whatever you want with the add point tool and this is all on it well um, that's all so this is this was the tracing image and uh, thanks for watching thank you